I feel like Hollywood chewed me up and spit me out. I thought it was, you know, wow, this is where your dreams come true or whatever, but you got to come ready. Um, yeah, I was just thrown in with, like, no friends, you know. It's high school. Um, high school's already hard to begin with. Um, so it was just, re I was, you know, a little nerd because I played the sax in the jazz band. Um, I was in the marching band. I didn't have many friends. So I met this one girl when I worked in the coat check. I was in, like, the club since I was 15. So I was working at the coat check. <laughs> And I met this girl, and she had her own apartment, and um, I didn't like my mother's rules, so I was like a rebel, and I moved out at 16. And um, we were on our way to a Wango Tango concert, and we were racing some guy, um, and she hit the curb, and I flew out the window 20 feet away from the car, where um, I woke up two weeks later, I had brain surgery, um, 30 staples holding my head together, my whole head was shaved, my eyes were crooked, my um, lung was collapsed. I, I woke up and I looked in the mirror and I had to look like this way because I couldn't see myself and right there my, my life was changed at 17. I was like, all I saw in Hollywood was beautiful people and I never saw anyone that really looked like me anyways growing up. Um, so right there was already impossible. So right, I, was, I wanted to give up. And then I met this little girl in the rehabilitation center who um, used to come into my room to cheer me up, but I never paid attention because I was a teenager and I was like, oh, I want to kill myself, I want to die, look at me, I'm ugly. And um, I was like, what is up with this little girl? I, Mom, do you know who she is? And she's like, no. And I stepped up to her, I was like, yo, what's up? She's eight. <laughs> she is also in a wheelchair, she's quadriplegic, and she's like, you had brain surgery too. We had that shaved head thing in common, and she's like, you're really pretty. I tell my mom I want to be like you. I was like, oh my God, I want to walk like you. I was like, oh my God. <sighs> Every time I talk about it, I, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm an actress, I, I got this. <clears throat> um, so basically after that, my whole life changed. This little girl saw like a beauty inside of me that I didn't really see in myself. She saw strength and I was like, you know what? She can't walk and she's happy and she's an artist. Like she draws like this and she became a makeup artist. I met her recently after 13 years. She Stop. found me on Instagram. And she said, I'm really proud of you. And I was like, and then I showed her my TED talk that I talk about her all the time. And she's like, I didn't know I meant so much to you. <laughs> I was like, girl, you changed my life. So um, I was asked to be in this music video called Sally for Bibi Borelli. Um, it's about inspirational people. And she's like, is there anyone who inspires you? And I said, Melly Moreno. So we got to be in the music video together. And she did my makeup in there. And um, she's gorgeous, by the way. And um, it was just a beautiful moment. And um, yeah, ever since the day that she told me she thought I was pretty, I was like, all right, you know what? It's not what you look like. It was always what was inside that counted. And she saw that. A little girl saw that, you know? And then I went back to Hollywood with my hospital mullet, because I didn't let anyone touch my hair. I was like, don't touch it, it's growing out. Um, and I took headshots, and no one took me, but they're like, I still kept going. And in 2006, I got my SAC card, and and it was still uh, no work, really. So I, uh, music was really my inspiration, and I, I kept writing, and music took me to Miami, and Miami took me to New York, and this is where everything really happened for me. Your story is, Jesus Christ, I, uh, come on. Like, <laughs> I, I, Thank you.